It's August and with a little rain, hot temperatures and gusty winds, the grasses and dry brush all around us are already pretty dry. Cal Fire San Diego County Captain Thomas Schutz says most fuel moistures are now at critical levels. This time of year is when our fuel moistures are starting to bottom out. They're hitting those critical levels. That's going to make the fire behavior more explosive. Shoot says that lately the weather has been humid, but they're still monitoring the potential for thunderstorms closely. But so far, the effects seem positive. More likely that would come with some moisture. That's always good for us. If the lightning does strike and start a fire, the moisture helps keep that fire at bay. Captain Neil Chapinski says in addition to being at the ready with their fleet of dozens of fire apparatus, they now have exclusive use of a Sikorsky helicopter. Well, it is a helicopter, so it's very agile. It has the capability to hover over a body of water and suck up the water. The tank capacity for this particular aircraft is uh, 2,650 gallons, so that's quite a bit of water. Um, that's what makes it the Type 1 capability. It's being leased by the state and based out of the Ramona Airport and can be used regionally. We're just trying to bolster our firefighting capabilities to help protect uh, San Diego and its residents. Shoot says it's never too late to clear dry brush and remove anything that's up against your home that poses an extra fire danger, with one exception. The caveat with that is absolutely any kind of mechanized clearing outside, anything that could start a fire this time of year has a lot greater potential to do so. We saw two fires um, in a two-week period in Ramona, um, both started by somebody who was out there clearing, trying to clear the property and do the right thing. They let it go. They, they kept clearing into the hotter part of the day, and that fire ended up taking off on them. And also never too late to make a plan and be ready in case you do have to evacuate in case of a fire. Kitty Alvarado, KPBS News.